familiar figure comes And now he's three days late How could he take so long? Why did he hesitate? Two women questioned him Both weeping as they came Completely different yet And still they're both the same Martha's grasping at Some vague religious hope Endless anxiety She can barely cope But Mary's gasping with Her own hopeful fear Lazarus would not have died If you had been here Did Jesus weep For their disbelief Or did he cry Because his friend had died Took on himself all of their pain and fear explain the mystery of his silent tears. He stood beside the tomb of his beloved friend and shouted out those words they could not comprehend. Then rose the smiling corpse, familiar silhouette. It was a moment that they never would forget. Jesus wept that day, mysterious silent tears. The reason that he cried never will be clear. But there's one certain thing for now that we can say. He had come to wipe all their tears away did Jesus weep for their disbelief or did he cry because his friend had died took on himself all of their pain and fear explain the mystery of his silent tears John is, uh, you know, you read Matthew, Mark, and Luke. They're called the synoptics, you're right? The same basic outline. But then you come to John, 92% of John is unique. And that tends to be, I think, the reason why John is everybody's favorite. Uh, and John's my favorite. It's my favorite uh, because of its uniqueness. It's my favorite because uh, it's so um, art. It's so much art. It's artfully put together, big themes. Jesus is light and bread and life and that sort of thing. Um, and this song uh, is one of those stories, 92% unique. This is only, only told in, uh, in John. And this is the story of Jesus uh, raising Lazarus from the dead and, uh, and weeping. It's one of the two times we see him, although I'm sure he wept a lot, a lot. Uh, it's one of the two times we see him weeping in the Gospels. Um, Lazarus is his friend, and he, he becomes sick. And Lazarus is actually described as beloved, the way John is the beloved disciple. Lazarus is Jesus' beloved friend. And um, they send word to Jesus that he's dying. He's sick and he's dying. And uh, Jesus stays where he, he is for three days, which is uh, upsets Mary, Mary and Martha. They, they say, you know, if you'd only been here, which is sort of a hint that you should have come quicker, um, but by the time Jesus is get, gets there, Lazarus is already in the tomb. They've given up, you know, waiting for Jesus, and they they went on and buried him. And uh, there's that that moment. Mar Martha comes to him, and he has this little discussion with her about the resurrection. Tells her that he is the resurrection. And but there's no word of tears. But but when Mary comes, Mary falls down, and she says exactly the same words that Martha says. But this, that the song says, yet, you know, completely different, yet they're both the same. Uh, when Mary says, if you'd only been here, he wouldn't have died, Jesus weeps. There's something about Mary. Uh, they're really close anyway. He has this wonderful connection with her. And uh, Jesus doesn't engage, doesn't, you know, doesn't have any little theological talk with Mary the way he does with Martha. He just says, you know, let's go to the tomb. And 
Jesus calls out and, and Lazarus is raised from the dead so that when the, when the triumphal entry happens, uh, on one side of Jesus is Lazarus, who was dead. On the other side is Bartimaeus, who was blind. He walks into Jerusalem with these two witnesses, you know, that he's the Messiah. So uh, I think what, what's uniquely uh, Johannine about this story is that John is interested in individual people. He tells these long stories about Nicodemus, about the woman at the well, the man born blind, the man who was lame for 38 years. Sometimes it's a whole chapter about one person. And Matthew, Mark, and Luke don't do that. And this story is this sort of lengthy story of Jesus' friendship with these sisters and and the brother. And I think that's one of the uniquenesses about John that I, I really love. I think it's the function of an old man. I mean, John is 90 in his 90s when he writes John. And that tends to be how old people remember things. They re- remember in terms of, I had this friend once and we did this and we did that. And, and uh, the older I get, I, when I tell about my life, I always tell it in terms of a, a long story about one person who impacted me uh, for good. And I think that's one of the things that makes John uh, so unique is he's interested in people.